Today we are making this adorable little leprechaun balloon. This is one I made a few days ago. Today I'm going to teach you exactly what you need to do if you want to make your own little leprechaun balloons for St. Patrick's Day. To make your own leprechauns, you're going to need two green 260s, an orange 260, an orange 350, and some blush colored 260s for the nose and arms or hands if you want to add those. And I've also got some black 260s just for some finishing details, which are optional. I'm gonna start off with this little guy's orange beard. So this design is based off of the teddy bear that I taught in the last video. It's kind of like the same design. We just changed colors and changed around a few things, um, added a hat instead of ears. But if you get that, if you watch that bear video, it's gonna be the same technique, okay? Same base design. So we're gonna inflate our 350, however wide you want the front of his sort of beard to be. So I'm gonna do about a palm's width. Go ahead and tie that off. And then we're gonna get our orange 260, so 350 and 260. Now, I don't know if doing the 350 on this design is necessary or if you could do this whole thing with just 260s, um, but I wanted it to be similar to the bear design. So we're gonna stick with the uh, 350 for this for now. So I've inflated my 260 and left about a three inch tail there at the end. I'm gonna take the nozzles of both orange balloons and tie them directly together in a nice double knot. Now we're gonna come over and we're gonna measure our first bubble. So it's gonna be the same size as our 350. And we're gonna take the tail of that and twist it into the twist we just made. And then pull this on through so that it stays put. Okay, now we're gonna come back up with our 260. So come back up, measure the same size bubble. And to lock this one in, I'm just gonna do a little roll through. So we're gonna pull our other bubbles open and slide it on through. Now we need to get this remaining balloon down at the bottom and center of our beard that we have so far. So I'm gonna squeeze this out. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of roll this in between our 350 and those back two bubbles. So just kind of wedge it up inside of there. You're gonna make a twist where it hits the middle part of your face so far. And after that twist, we're just gonna do a small bubble and we're gonna make the small bubble a pinch twist so that when we wrap the balloon around, we have something to connect it back into. Okay, so there's our pinch twist coming out the center bottom right underneath our 350. Now I'm gonna squeeze out the rest of my orange balloon to kind of thin it out a little bit. And if you're running out of balloon, this will give you some extra length. And we're gonna wrap our remaining orange 260 all the way around kind of sandwiching it in between our two 260 bubbles and our 350 in the front. And once you get back to that pinch twist at the bottom, we're just gonna twist it right into there. Okay, so you should have this little lollipop on a stick. <laughs> All right, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna grab our green 260s and go into the body. I'm green 260, again, about a three inch tail on the end there just like the bare body that we did last time, we're gonna do a small two to three inch bubble for his arms and we're gonna do a whole bunch of twists after that one so that we can kind of spread these apart so they stick out on either side of his tummy once we're done. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of twisting here. I'm gonna fold it over and make another bubble the same size. And we're gonna twist those two together using the knot pull it through to lock those in. Next, we're gonna come down for the main part of the body. So a bubble slightly bigger than these arms here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do his feet at this point, which is gonna be two loops and one pinch twist. So don't make them too big if you're worried about running out of balloon. And plus he's a leprechaun, usually little guys. <laughs> So there's our two loops and then I'm going to come out here with a small round bubble and we're going to pull that into a pinch twist. All right. Now, before I bring this back up and put everything together, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to our beard. 
So we're gonna take these arms, see right here where our nozzle is, this is the point that we're gonna attach to our pinch twist. So you can just wrap that around there. So we've got that. If you wanna get the rest of this orange balloon out of the way now, we are done with it, so you can go ahead and do that. So we've got this flowery looking thing now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pull the arms down flat against the body bubble, and then bring my remaining green balloon up to sandwich those arms in between here and here. So we're gonna go ahead and twist this up into that pinch twist up top as well. All right, so we should be looking something like this now. Uh, we're done with this green 260, so you can get rid of this, the rest of this now. Go ahead and pull out those little arms and kind of bring them forward a little bit so that you can easily see his little arms on either side of his body. All right, it looks kind of like a video game character, like a little flower person or something. So you can make a whole lot of different characters with this base model design. Let's go ahead and turn this into a leprechaun now by just doing two more things. We're gonna add a nose and a hat. For the nose, I'm grabbing a blush colored balloon and I'm just gonna put enough air in here for one little nose bubble. This is a great one for a scrap. If you have a scrap in this color, you can use that up. And I'm just gonna tie that off in a double knot, cut off the extra and save it for the next leprechaun. And then we're gonna take this and just like the bear, we're gonna stick it right here. So I'm gonna thread this through to the back. And then I'm actually gonna take this underneath these two orange bubbles so I can wrap it around this pinch twist down here at the bottom to really make it secure. Okay, so we've pulled it down through the bottom and then we're gonna wrap it around that pinch twist so that nose will definitely not be going anywhere. Now you can see how that changes this whole thing. It's not looking so much like a flower anymore, it's starting to look like a little person. So let's add the hat. On this guy, I used a five inch round for the top part of the hat, but I know that balloons are in short supply and it can be difficult to find certain things. So I wanted to challenge myself to do his hat with just a 260. That way, if you don't have every shape and size of balloons in every color, you can still do this design. So you can see what it looks like with the round, but I'm gonna show you how to do a little 260 hat for our leprechaun. So grab your other green 260. It's gonna do about a three to four inch tail. And I'm gonna make the hat first and then show you some different ways you can attach it to his head. So to start off, we're gonna do about a three to four inch bubble. We're gonna do a four bubble body. So you're gonna need four bubbles the same size. So fold it down, measure, bring them together with the knot and pull that through to lock it in. And then again, we're gonna do another bubble the same size. To lock this one in, we're just gonna roll it through and then bring your remaining balloon down. One more bubble the same size as the rest. And to lock this one in, I'm gonna grab the nozzle that I have here. I'm gonna wrap it around that twist, pull it nice and tight. And then we're gonna thread this through the inside of the body to lock that in, okay? Now for the brim of the hat, what I'm going to do is squeeze my balloon out a little bit. I'm going to actually, like we did for sort of the neck area of our leprechaun, I'm going to take my remaining balloon and I'm just going to kind of bring it up in between my hat bubbles so it's coming out the side. So you're just wedging it in there. Once it's in there, we're going to make a twist, then another twist to make a small bubble. We're going to make this small bubble a pinch twist. So just twist that around itself. That will be the back of the hat so they don't see that pinch twist from the front. And then with your remaining balloon, we're gonna wrap it around our four bubble body here. So that's gonna make the hat. So once you get back to the pinch twist in the back, just twist it in there. And if you have any balloon left here, you can go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so we've got this little hat made with two 60s. Now you should have a couple of tails here on the head of your leprechaun that you can work with. Hopefully you didn't cut them off yet. So I have, I always leave myself a nice long nozzle, but then I also have the rest of this 350 that we can use. So I'm gonna cut um, the end of this 350 off just to let that extra air in there out. So we have a nice flat ribbon. 
and I'm gonna place the hat right on top of his head like this. And to keep it on there, I'm actually gonna thread this 350 right through the middle of these four bubbles on the bottom. So it's gonna come through here and then out this side. Okay, so that'll keep the hat nice and centered on his head by going through those center bubbles. Okay, so you can see what I've got there. We've got the hat attached to our little orange ribbon. I'm just gonna slide that ribbon through. And once we have it through, then we're gonna pull this tightly just all the way across to the other side of his head where I have the nozzle. And then I can just do a nice double knot with those two tails to secure it. Once you have that secured, you can cut off the rest of this or tuck it inside of his head to hide it. Look at that. Now you have a cute little leprechaun guy. I just saw a pilgrim in this as well if you change the colors. Um, so fun little easy leprechaun, not too difficult. Um, good one for in-person parties and events, I think. And then if you want to add a few finishing details, you could get a black 260. Just start at the end and use your fingers to slide all the air out of that balloon and then tie it off so that you have a ribbon. And you can put this ribbon, you can put one ribbon around the brim of his hat like this. Really helps it say leprechaun even more. Just tie it nice and securely in the back. So you can see how that looks, super cute. And then you can also give him a little belt, which I think looks good too. Same thing, just make yourself a little black balloon ribbon. And then we're gonna just tie that around his belly here. So he has his little belt on. And there you have it, a super cute little, kind of like an elfish looking pilgrim. And the great thing about this design is it doesn't need any artwork. Um, his eyes are hidden and covered up by his beard and hat, so you don't have to draw any eyes on this. Um, if you wanted to put like, I don't know if they make little belt buckle stickers, like a gold square sticker on the belt and the hat, that would be cute. Um, and then if you want to step this design up even more, maybe you're making this for a delivery piece so you've got more time to work on it and you're not standing in front of a crowd watching you work, um, you can add little blush colored rounds for some hands. You could even do things like change the shoes instead of it all being green you could do black shoes for the base um, a whole bunch of different ways you could change up this design make it a little more detailed or less detailed whatever works for you and the events that you're doing i would love to see your take on this design for saint patrick's day please share photos of your little leprechauns in our free Facebook group. The link is in the description. Everyone can share their work on there and we can see some different creative things that you guys are doing with this design for the week. If you guys are into making money with your balloons and actually taking your skills to events and parties and getting paid to do this, check out my membership specifically for balloon twisters it's full of member exclusive tutorials and resources that help you make money with your balloons um, it's everything i wished i would have had when i was starting my business and everything that i currently make to use in my business i also provide for my members as well so it's a great resource for anyone looking to do this professionally. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be looking for your comments to see what you think about it. And if you have any suggestions for other videos you wanna see me make, leave those in the comments as well and I'll add them to my list. Until next week, I'll see you guys over in the free Facebook group. Happy twisting everyone. Bye, happy St. Patrick's Day.